Hey guys, today I'm starting a new series called Will It Stereo? And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing two phasers into a tape delay. And as you could hear in that opening, it sounded very cool. I got this idea from uh, Johan Segeborn, and I'll link to his video in the description. And he used uh, two small stone phasers from the 1970s to get a Jean-Michel Girard style sound. I did something similar a few years ago using two analog delays. And I'll revisit that along with some other effect types to see what works with making an interesting stereo image out of two mono effects. For this, I ended up using a mono splitter, and I used two phasers, and in the later bit of this, I'll be using a different phaser along with the small stone. I'll be using the MXR Phase 95. I use a splitter cable instead of using the left and right output of the Minilog XD here just to make sure there's no weird phase relationship issue because I'm going to be uh, messing with the phase anyway with some phasers. So that makes sure that it's an identical copy coming directly out of the synth. What I ended up doing here was uh, putting one of the outputs of the splitter cable into one of the inputs of one of the phasers and then the other output into another phaser and then going into a stereo effect here in any case, you could just uh, bypass the next effect in the chain. I just thought it sounded really cool with the space echo. So, yeah, one side is going into the left, one side is going to the right, obviously. And then on your mixer or audio interface, you're going to want to hard pan each uh, channel to the left or right so you get that stereo image. You'll want to go ahead and experiment with settings. I'll go through some of the settings uh, here. But you'll want to experiment with a uh, setup like this one where I'm using two phasers like the rates on each side or the feedback settings on each side to see which sounds the widest and the nicest in a stereo image. There's no right or wrong way to do it, so you just have to experiment. I feel that in this setup that the uh, space echo really adds some more wash to the sound and it really makes it more evident. I am not using the reverb on here, so none of the uh, stereo image is generated inside the pedal. The pedal does not generate a stereo image unless you have the reverb active, and I do not have the reverb active. You might be able to get some uh, phasers that can sync to each other so that the LFO will be the same on each when you have them engaged, but really you want a free roaming LFO where each side is gonna be different because I think that makes for the most interesting sounds. You wanna really make sure that both effects are at the same volume level at your recording interface or your mixer when they're engaged, and that's why when I do a dry signal here, you can hear that the channels are mismatched in volume. But when I turn on the effects, which I'll do right now, As demonstrated now with the effect enabled, then yeah, the volume won't be different. So I'll turn on the sequence again to make it easy. And like I said, I hope you're listening to this on headphones because then you can hear the swirling between two channels and it sounds really cool. And now if I engage the uh, space echo, it'll sound even cooler. I'll go ahead to my heart patch for this next part to see what it sounds like on a plucked sound instead of just that nice pad that we had in the opening because obviously pads sound nice through phasers, but here it is dry. All right, let's go, go ahead and engage both phasers. And let's go ahead and engage the space echo with a fairly high feedback. It 
it sounds really nice, but as you can hear, the bad stone is just incredibly noisy. So for the next part of this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the bad stone for the Phase 95 by MXR. All right, so I'm back here with the small stone and the Phase 95 now. And the Phase 95 is much quieter than the bad stone. And I had to change the volume levels on my mixer back to normal, so now when it's dry... You hear that both channels are the same volume because both these pedals have a volume boost. So I'm going to go ahead and engage both again. Actually, I think that sounds better than the bad stone in this situation uh, since they're both uh, four um, stage phasers. So let's, let's make some changes between them. We're going to have a high rate on the small stone here. And let's bring up the phase here. And I guess this is actually, that was in, uh, huh, that's funny. I had that in the phase 45 mode. So that was only in two stage mode. So speeds up now in the phase 95 and it's in four stage. Yeah, I think that sounds awesome. Let's go back to my uh, pad sound and let's see what that sounds like yeah that actually sounds really fantastic I like that better than having a six stage and a four stage phaser for the uh, um, the mix up here so I'm gonna go ahead and engage the space echo again Let's bring the speed down a little bit on both sides. Let's make this, let's make the phase 95 really slow. It's actually at phase 90 now in this mode. Oh, that actually sounds very gorgeous. You can hear this swooshing between both channels. It's, it's just awesome. I hope you liked that episode of the uh, first in the Willet Stereo series. I thought that sounded really cool. You may want to give that channel a view in the description that I was talking about that inspired this, but I will do this in the future with some more effects. I really want to try this with uh, two mono choruses and see what happens there. I think that would work really well. I've, like I said in the uh, past I did it with two delays and uh, two analog delays that were mono and it worked just fine I'll revisit that now that I have some better equipment and can explain it a little better thanks for watching <laughs>